Well, twice this week, gunfire rang out at school campuses, and an Arlington teen was killed. What followed was a rash of hoax shooting calls. We've learned a half dozen districts from DFW to San Antonio were forced to lock down. Robbie Owens explains how police are handling these threats. Shooting. With school shootings no longer rare. We got shots fired right now, guys. And a generation now normalized to the fear. But then everyone was being directed to like a classroom, and then I was like, oh, it's serious. Law enforcement is now raising alarms about another concern. The hoax calls. It was a joke, or I just wanted to get everyone out of the classroom. And it's not a joke. Um, you know, we, we call it, you know, real threats equal real regrets. And it's not just prank calls to schools. White Settlement Police Chief Chris Cook says in recent weeks, his officers have even located and arrested juveniles for threatening other students on social media posts. One even flashed a fake gun, but handcuffs aren't funny and you don't have access to your phone, you don't have access to your friends, your family, it can be a very uh, scary uh, proposition for many of these kids, especially those that we classify as they are good kids and they did something really dumb. And that's the kids and that's the parents we really wanna reach. Still, the problem of hoax calls or swatting is bigger than a few misguided students. Law enforcement in Mansfield determined that a fake 911 call reporting an alleged shooting there this week originated out of the country. My suspicions around this uh, are that this is someone likely testing our systems uh, to see how we respond in different communities. Mo Kennedy is executive director of the National Association of School Resource Officers. His organization supports having SROs on every campus. You already have that law enforcement resource there, and they seem to be able to diagnose the situation more quickly. Meanwhile, local education experts say meeting those challenges involves maintaining a consistent response, collaboration with police, and keeping the threat in perspective. Becoming more knowledgeable about what's out there, I think that's a good thing. I think the more people know, I think the better they'll feel. Robbie Owens, CBS News, Texas.